Hello, everyone. Welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about Rapidly. Rapidly is a website which can let you create and build, also hosting your code in the cloud, which many companies are already doing that, such as Heroku, Netlify, Render, Fly.io, or Virtual, and others. But the nice thing for Rapid is provide you an integrated IDE environment in your browser. It also provides your free tier plans for you to use. You can have unlimited repos, free storage for 500 megabytes, 500 megabytes memory, 0.2 to 0.5 virtual CPUs. The sign up process is very simple. One thing I like is it also can provide you opportunity to use other people's templates to create your own repos. I put everything I know in this blog post to give you a quick demo and instruction for how to use Rapid. Take a look at the URL from this video's description. Everything looks great so far. Is any drawback for this website. We will cover that in this video. Keep watching. Now let's jump into its website to take a deep look. Let's take a minute to go over the features Rapid providing. IDE feature. You will get the IDE interface in your browser. You can type the code or copy the code in run it right away you will get a result as shown here it support multiple person to play together you can work on together multiple person that's fantastic if you have team member also you want someone troubleshooting on it it can do hosting if you have all your code you want to put into a hosting environment to test it yeah this website can provide in that as well it also has community bounties, ghostwriter. You can take a look at them by clicking the menu here. We know all those features may be not for free, but most important part, we will get unlimited repos. We will get free storage, memory, and you can have hosting for your code in the cloud while using online editing ID environment. There's a problem. So when you created your project, which Rapid call it REPL, it will get into sleeping mode if there's no activity for 30 minutes. So basically, in 30 minutes, nobody visiting your application, it will sleep in, it will not get public access. You need to wake it up to get it running again. But in this video, we're gonna show you a way to wake it up automatically every 20-30 minutes based on your definition. Registration process also simple. Click sign up. If you have Google account, GitHub account, Facebook account, which most people already have, just click the Google account. So particular one you are using and right away you have been provided so let's skip this part let's go we are getting to this dashboard environment right away less than let's say 10 seconds you should be able to get in so the registration process it's very straightforward and fast, super easy. Right away, you can start to create your repo. They already have tons of template provided by the company or by other users. So that's another feature very attractive to the people. You don't have to create your environment from the beginning. You can use other people's work to start your project.
Before we can start jumping to create our first Python app, I want to show you something from the inside of the repo. So we're gonna create a simple bash repo. Right away, you're gonna get provided with this IDE environment. You have console, you have share, and you already been provided a command here to show you hello world. You can run it, then basically you will get the output hello world from the console. But the other I want to show you is different here. You can run some specific command. For example, if you want to run at the top to see this repo's performance and the configuration settings, hardware, or RAM CPU, you will see there's no this command, but they will look at Nick's repository and find out, yes, there's a one match there, so do you want to install it? Okay, we're going to get it installed, and right away, they will successfully to install this at top package into your repo environment. What at top is do is just showing the CPU usage, RAM usage, and the process, just like a top command, but it, which is give you a little bit more graphic interface. But that's how you can run your own command and install your package. You can press Q to quit it from there. If you want to do more, you may need to get the root permission. So the permission we are getting is not root permission. By default, you are not in a root mode. You are running as a runner. If you need to run some special command, do some special things with root command, is there a way we can get into root mode. Here is a section from my blog post to show you how to get a root permission. Uh, there's a couple of code we may need to run, so I just copied here. So we just copy them one by one in. First we need to get a zip file. We need to get the wget since we don't have wget in our environment yet. So it will automatically install wget for you. It says detecting a change in environment, reloading the share. Doesn't matter here. So we have yt.zip. Then we gonna unzip this one. So all those commands you can find from the blog post. After that, you probably have a root zip file. If there is asking anything, just press enter there, which is install on zip this package in your environment. After that, again, just on zip root.zip again. It's adding on zip to replit.nix. Eventually, we'll get the tar file, so we're going to paste on it, on tar this file. After that, we just need to run this command to get the root permission. Okay, finally, on tar is completed. This is the last command. Right away, we get the root access. So we're gonna go to our dashboard again. So we're gonna create a new Python wrap. Create Python. We're gonna name it as my IP. Since that will become our domain name. 
right away you will see there's a file main.py here what we need to do to make this app is just copy the code I put into this repository my IP in github you can just copy so nothing need to be changed you will eventually get something like this page I already created So you can start to run it right away. You will see some result on your right. So you will see internal IP that basically replicate server's IP, not this server, but the server to visiting the server hosting this IP. Anyways, so that's the internal IP from replicate network. But this is our public IP address. You can quickly get this URL and which will show you the result online. Before that, you need to publish it. So let's go back to our home page and go to my repos. Repo here. Um, so one thing we need to do once you created your repo and you just need to publish a repo click this button you only have one put some description there and next you don't need a tag you can customize with image or photo next you also can submit it as template for review but in this way you don't have to do that just publish great you have published your website then it's public available now so this is the URL we were using now you can access it publicly So that is how simple, how easy you can get your app to the cloud and accessible from public. But as I mentioned before, there's a drawback problem, which is only 30 minutes gap here. The repo you created only have 30 minutes a lifetime if there's no activity or no public access. So to avoid that, to avoid your repo to get into sleep mode, we can use third party to uptime robot to monitor it. Basically, every 25 minutes, 20 minutes, you just send a monitoring request, HTTP, which can avoid your repo to go into sleep. Basically, you just copy the URL, put into Yes, URL. You can give a friendly name. Just give this name to make it easy to remember. And the default will be free, will be 5 minutes. But in this case, I gave 24 minutes. But 1 minute is only available in paid. We don't have to generate too many traffic to your repo. One every 20 minutes or Less than as long as less than thirty minutes, you can keep it awake. Then just create a monitor. Confirm. That's done. So we will have that up and running all the time, since uptime robot can visit it every twenty four minutes. Okay, we have one last thing to do. We want to use our own domain. So I do have a website and domain 51sec.org. So I want to use my own domain for it. So I want to use my IP dot 51sec.com to access this website. It's also simple, easy to do. Click your repo and go to the web view you will see this URL 
that default URL from repo, but you can change it. Click this added icon, create domain link. So what are we gonna do? My IP dot fifty one sec dot Right away, they will show you how to add C name record and TST record. Do both quick and easy. Copy and go back to here. Add your record. It's C name record. Record my IP. Paste in. Save. And we need to do second one, which is TXT for verification. Just make sure you own this domain. Same thing. Put my IP here. Paste the content in. Save it. Both are here. My IP. So what my IP is uh, another repo I created for testing. But those two are new. Once those two records been created, you can click link domain. So here is something you have to wait a couple of minutes. The domain is not yet verified. It needs a couple of minutes to verify this TXT record and uh, link your C name to default repeat URL. Usually in two minutes you should be able to get your TXT record verified. So that means your URL is alive. We can use our myip.51sec.org to access to it. Yeah, it's working. You can see the Cloudflare certificate there. Your website is up and running on your domain and it will be up 24 by 7 by 365. One thing you just need to know, um, this is free service. We know Heroku just recently changed their policy free service is limited again there's a lot of application not working so there's a potentially in the future Replit gonna change their policy too so but at this moment or it's available you will get the root access to your repo you will have 24 by 7 by 365 access to your repo it's up and running in the cloud i hope you enjoyed this video i hope this give you some useful information if yes give me a thumb up Please and subscribe my channel to support me. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.